are you doing today? I'm good. Good evening, Julian. How are you? I'm doing. Yeah, well, I'm doing good, but I feel like it would be the perfect time for me to to lie down on your therapy couch and tell you a little story that I that I went through just a couple of days ago. Oh, sounds like it was hard. It it was hard uh, for me. It was hard for my wife, which means that it was hard for me as well. Even harder um, for you. E even harder. You're right. Um, so we. We basically went back, might have heard of it, we went back into lockdown in France, but I'm based in right. Paris, right? So everything closed again. So basically I had to go back to ordering food, uh, ordering groceries really uh, online, mm. which usually isn't such a bad experience. Um, it, I, I was even surprised. I, I had quite a few good experiences, but because the lockdown just started, you know, everyone is ordering food online at the same time. So everything is you know, uh, crowded and it's very difficult to get a, a delivery date. So I tried a new service that I had not tried before. And uh, just because I was doing something else, I created the account and everything. And I just told my wife, hey, just take my phone and, and start, you know, ordering stuff. Tell um, what you want. Exactly. Um, and then she spent 30, 45 minutes filling everything and then just asked, do you want to add anything else before before I make the payment? And since I didn't want to move from the couch, I just, I had my laptop with me. <laughs> so instead of moving to the kitchen to pick the phone, I logged in on my account from my laptop and he just resets the cart to zero. So the 45 minutes she spent trying to, to fill the entire cart wiped out, no way back. Uh, so first thing I did was, you know, let's go on the live chat and try to have a, a chat with these guys to see whether there is any way to go back. Um, there were some delays, which I guess is understandable considering the whole situation right now. Uh, but basically, the, the real problem is they could not tell. They could not tell because they had no visibility whatsoever. I mean, you have like the web team and the mobile team. Oh, no. Two different teams, completely separated in beautiful technological silos that don't communicate with one another. So you can either reach out through the app and then you're being sent to a team or you can reach out through the web and then you start engaging with a different team. And I mean, I, I did not have any solution in the end. I, we had to, to redo everything from scratch, which is not the best experience ever. Mm. Plus, and... That's not the core of this topic, but I have to say it. Plus, we ordered zucchini online and ended up getting this tiny mini version of it that doesn't look anything like the picture, which what actually is... look, that, you know, oh my five, God. And it's... Five, five euros. We usually get the big one for one euro. I get that Whoa. stuff for five euros. So, you know. We, uh, we, we got, uh, like two weeks ago, <laughs> we were getting the ones like that. You know, I, I, I guess, wow, season ended suddenly. Goodbye. Here you go. It's best I can do, I guess. Not well, good. I mean, I had a serious zucchini issue. Yes. I'm not going to complain too much about this one. Um, I, I don't know how, the, I, how it works, but the picture was, you know, misleading. Um, real issue with customer engagement. I mean, those silos just make your life too complex. And real issue with the UX because, I mean, Obviously, they never had a customer working on two different devices, and they should have thought of this because I'm, it made my life difficult. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure they have had customers do it. It just no one's yelled <laughs> louder. or they just haven't dealt with it. I mean, there's no that's such a logical thing to do. Um, I, I to me, the best part of the story so far is you haven't used the term ex-wife. <laughs> So, 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 so sounds like the marriage was able to survive. That's because, that's... because we're in lockdown uh, and there is no way out. Well, now, let's see three months from now how that goes. But, but that, that, was, that, that was a terrible experience. I mean, I, I, I've had some experiences where, you know, web and mobile are just not aligned um, back in 2000 when, when that was the beginning of mobile. <laughs> uh, but something that bad, I mean... Uh, that's that's pretty frustrating, right? If looking at customer frustration, customer satisfaction, that's a pretty poor way to to, to start. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're doing a very normal, normal. I mean, and there's an initial fix that I can't believe is hard, which is is someone else in this pop up a little thing that says if you continue, you will be erasing anything currently in the cart. I mean, I, I can't believe that's okay. It's a day of programming, maybe. Um, you know, to and, avoid this sort of problem is huge. 
especially that I've had this with competitors. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, we used to use a different service and they, they just had too many requests in the same time and no delivery for the next two weeks. So that, that's why I had to change to, to a different company. Um, but the company I usually use, um, my wife would add stuff on her mobile while I would add stuff on my desktop uh, so that we just have a consolidated list uh, working together. You know, now that you have Google Docs and Microsoft uh, 365 and all the stuff where everyone shared documents at right. the same time, you can do it also for groceries. Um, so it feels very frustrating when you get something below usual expectations. Yeah, and, and that's such a norm. Yeah, you're right. Usual expectations is the key phrase. So. And you started talking about this. The other piece that's so frustrating is to support groups that, you know, you if you call the wrong one, you get nothing. Sounds like if you called the right one, you would have maybe just gotten the sympathy I'm trying to give you here and not, no actual satisfaction. But, um, uh, yeah, the fact that they were two different groups and you couldn't, the people you got to had no insight, no ability to get insight. Or could they even send you to the people who would? No, they would only say, well, kind of in a way. They would only say that um, if you need help with the mobile app, uh, go into the mobile app and then okay. you're going to get okay. the support you need there. Yep. My my problem is actually the connection between the two. So what do I do? Um, and, and they would not communicate together. Like the the agent would not suggest, hey, let me go talk to my colleague from the other team. Um, th there was no suggestion whatsoever on the site. So what I was thinking was, well, for one, uh, make sure you get better alignment between the web experience and the mobile experience. Second, make sure you got you destroy your silos. It just does not make sense. You you yeah, need to have people yeah, able to help so across the board because you don't have customers built in silos. Why do you have customer service teams built in silos? It just does not make sense. Um, third, make sure that you equip your agents with the 365, 360 experience, um, meaning that if you see that on your screen, your 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 agents should see the same thing. They should have they should see as much as the customers see, uh, if not more. Actually, right? A past transaction, all the stuff should be given. That's I think that would solve a lot of the frustration, not just for me as a customer, but for the agent on the other side, because you could feel those guys oh, being sure. helpless. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. No one likes to be helpless, right? Well, and you know what strikes me as you're talking is. If you had that 360-degree visibility, this problem would have been obvious because you know you're not the only one who's had this, and this would have been coming up over and over and over again. So the fact that they didn't have that guarantees that this problem is just going to fester and, and be out there and go on and on and on. Exactly. So I, I, I think in this case, the question is pretty obvious, and it would have been a really high bar to start. Any chance they'll keep you as a customer? Or are you going to go the second you can get reasonable turnaround on your old vendor? You're just going to go back. Well, the I was thinking about this, and I was ready to, you know, just accept the fact that, well, on this app, you just can't use the app and the and the web version at the same time, and and um and I'm I'm going to keep working with them. Then I received that, and I'm <laughs> definitely <laughs> going to move on, uh, move back to my original vendor because they do such a such a much better job basically but you know what's going to happen next uh max is that i'm going to send you a mini zucchini so that you can you can you know make your own opinion um and maybe we can uh, we can discuss again next week on a on a different story maybe yours this time i'll i'll do a story and we can maybe we'll be the first food and therapy session we'll do here i'll have some zucchini parmesan while we talk Sounds perfect. Thank you so much, Max. Have a beautiful day and talk to you next week. Great. Thanks, Drew.